Thank you, Max. Some of the strengths and weaknesses of control strategies are control. Some employees strongly identify with their organizations and their identities are relatively stable over time. Some even form a deep acting, which is the actual feeling, emotions demanded by management. Another form of a strength would be unobtrusive control, which is self-surveillance in which employees act in ways that are desired by the organization because they have internalized its core beliefs and values, identify with it, and feel positive emotions when they comply with its demands. Some of the weaknesses that we have when it involves control are employees who are aware of the assumptions that members of their organizations take for granted, but do not accept them uncritically. And they can also display surface acting, which is pretending to feel the emotions that they display. Obtrusive control is difficult to administer because employees may interpret them in anticipated ways I would like to thank my other teammates, Claire and Max, and on an overview, in a cultural organization strategy, the entire organization is made of self-monitoring subcultures. Each subculture has their own rituals and strategies, but share values and visions with the entire company. Thank you very much.